At the beginning of the story, some men were running, when they arrived at their destination, they see a person wrapped around some clothing and sitting close to a bonfire, the man who seems to be their leader brings out a knife and throws it at the person. To the leader's surprise, there was no one in the cloth, when he turns around, he sees a young boy looking at him, this boy is the target of the man and his team. The boy was shocked that they tried to ambush him, he said that since they tried to ambush him, he has a reason to kill them, the boy picks up his arrow and broke a tree branch, the man and his team laughed at the boy, they asked him what he was going to use the branch to do. As they continued laughing, one of the man teammate got his head destroyed by the branch, the man couldn't believe what he just saw, one of his teammates shouts that the boy is using this, immediately he says this, the boy shot him down, the leader could only look in fear, before he knew it, all his teammates were dead. When it was his turn to die, he begged the boy to spare him, the boy told him that if he has the intention to kill, then he should be prepared to die too, the boy used his tree branch to blow the man's head away, after killing them, the boy packed up his clothes and put out the bonfire, as he was about to leave, the boy said that compared to what Darian said, the human world is boring to him. After the boy left, we are taken to a meeting, the meeting was held by high-ranking priests of a church, in the meeting, the priest said that the forest of roots still has traces of demonic energy but the barriers they set will stop it from spreading out. The problem they had was that they could not use the huge amount of land the forest possessed, while they were discussing, a man who seems to be their leader said that if the forest is filled with demonic energy that no one can survive, why don't they just send people who need to die there? The priests were shocked to hear this, the leader said that since they are certain troublesome people they can't handle, won't it be easy for them to banish those people to the forest, when the priests heard this, they immediately accepted the idea. In the next scene, we see a knight holding a woman, he tells her that the seed of darkness has sprouted in her baby, the baby is given to a bunch of priests, the priests prayed on him and he began to glow, the mother called the baby's name, which was Helmet. The Forest of Roots was a place that no genius scholar, brave commander, or incredible mage can survive, every criminal that entered this place has dropped dead, if anyone by chance makes it out of the forest, their sins will be forgiven, Helmet woke up in the forest and began to cry, the forest was filled with demonic energy. The coldness and hunger was too much for him to bear but the boy was able to overcome it thanks to the seed he had inside him. The seed provided an energy that protected him, ten days passed and the boy still pushed through, a leopard approached him, the leopard picked him up and left, ten years later, we see Helmet chasing after a rabbit, he successfully held the rabbit down, he tells the leopard called Ilaga to look at what he achieved. Ilaga approached Helmet and killed the rabbit, she asked Helmet if he has gotten used to hunting, Helmet says he can only hunt rabbits for now, after killing the rabbit, Ilaga brought out an odd-looking object out of it, she told Helmet that the object is called a core and all demonic beasts have them, she said that if one eats a core, it will recharge their core and increase their lifespan. Helmet was going to collect it from her but she kicks him away with her tail. Helmet started crying, he said that he is the one that is supposed to eat the core because he hunted the rabbit, Ilaga told him that he can't eat it because he is not a demonic beast and if he should eat it, he will become a demonic beast and if that happens he will have to live in the forest forever. Helmet says that it doesn't matter if he eats the core because there is no way he is getting out of the forest, Ilaga tells him that there is a way out if the forest, Helmet was shocked to hear this, he asked Ilaga how this was possible because she said it was impossible to do. Ilaga said that she didn't think it was possible but someone told her that it is possible, Helmet asked her who told her, Ilaga said that a human she met before, Helmet was shocked to hear this, Ilaga told him that he shouldn't bother to find the human because he is probably already dead. Helmet asked her if she saw him die with her own eyes, Ilaga said that the human was a very strong person in the past but he has grown old, she said that no matter how strong a human is, they will grow weaker because they can't endure the demonic energy in the forest. The reason Helmet can't feel it is because he has a seed of darkness. 
Ilaga said that the last time she met the human he was already old and if he is still alive then he would be 90 years old, Helmut asked her where she met the human, she tries to hit Helmut with a stick when he asked this question, she said that Helmut already wants to leave her after she raised and fed him. She told him that the man might not be there when gets there, Helmut said he will come back if he doesn't meet anyone, Ilaga was angry to hear this, she told Helmut that the place is east from their location, she told him to do whatever he wants, immediately Helmut heard the location, he began to run, Ilaga was shocked that he actually left, she said that she doesn't care if he dies. Helmut was happy to hear that there was another human in this forest apart from him. When Helmut arrived there, he saw a fence made out of woods, he jumped over the fence and saw a house when he landed, the house made him believe that a human lives there since it is only them that can make such a construction. While looking around, Helmut gets his face pinned to the ground by a man, the man asked Helmut who he was and who sent him, Helmut said that Ilaga sent him here and she was the one who told him that a human stays here, the man recognized Ilaga's name he released Helmut and asked what he wants. The man told Helmut that if he came to see another human then he should just leave, Helmut said that the reason he came here is because he wants to leave this forest. The man introduced himself as Darian, he asked Helmut if he really wants to escape, Helmut replied that Ilaga told him that he knows a way out of the forest, Darian asked him why he wants to leave, he says that the outside world is not as peaceful or beautiful as Helmut thinks. Helmut asked Darian how the outside world is, Darian said that in the outside world people don't have claws or fangs, they have weak bodies, but they are very cunning and cruel in exchange, they also tend to join forces and betray each other when needed, Darian asked Helmut if he was born in the forest, Helmut said that he was sent here as a baby. Darian immediately understood that Helmut has a seed of darkness, Darian told Helmut that the fact that he wasn't killed when people found out he had a seed of darkness means that he was born into a powerful family and is a noble, Helmut didn't know what a noble was. He told Helmut that the reason he was left in the forest was because of his seed of darkness, he said that as long as the seed is in Helmut's body he will be chased and hunted down after he gets out of the forest, Darian asked Helmut if he still wants to leave the forest, Helmut says he does, when Darian heard this he picks up Helmut, Helmut asked him what he was doing. Darian tells him that if he wants to live in the human world, he has to first become one, he said that he will turn Helmut into a human, Helmut asked Darian what he has to do to get out of the forest, Darian said that he has to get through the forest barrier, he told Helmut that it is impossible with his current strength and he should forget about it for now. He said that after Helmut becomes stronger, he will introduce him to the person that will help him get out, Helmut asked him how he could get stronger, Darian told him to just follow his command and he will get stronger, at Darian's house, he gives Helmut a broom to sweep the ground, Helmut says that he doesn't want to. Darian said that all humans do it so Helmut must do it, Helmut asked Darian how he could live in a house that is so dirty, Darian asked him if he wants to continue to live the forest, when Helmut heard this, he reluctantly began to sweep, when Helmut was done sweeping, Darian shows him his bed, Helmut was so happy that he got a bed, he asked Darian if he could sleep immediately. Darian told him that they had a lot to do, he gave Helmut some clothes to wear, he warned him not to damage them because he made it out of his own clothes and he doesn't have plenty to spare, Darian takes Helmut outside to harvest some plants, he told Helmut that he is going to teach him what to eat and how to make things edible. Darian takes out a plant from his bag, he tells Helmut that all the organisms in this forest have cores and even if one takes out their cores, the organisms still have demonic energy in them, the only way to completely purify the demonic energy is by getting it cleansed in water, after cleansing it, he gave Helmut to eat, Helmut was shocked that it was actually edible, after showing this to Helmut, Darian decided to return home. The next day, Helmut was angry that Darian sent him to fetch water by using the excuse that he needs to act like a human, while Helmut was thinking about his situation, something was looking at him at his back, the thing attacked him and it turns out to be Ilaga, she asked Helmut what he was doing, Helmut said that Darian asked him to fetch water, Ilaga was shocked to hear this because Helmut never listened her. 
Helmut said that he is doing it because Darien promised to make him stronger, Elaga asked him what he wants to do when he becomes stronger. Helmut said that he is going to leave the forest because he is not a demonic beast, Elaga asked Helmut if he expects something good to happen to him when he gets to the human world, Helmut said that he doesn't know what will happen but he is sure that nothing will happen to him if he stays in this forest. After fetching the water, Helmut left Elaga, as Helmut was leaving, Elaga couldn't help but feel sad, at Darien's house, Helmut is practicing a difficult stance while Darien pours the water he fetched on him, Helmut begged Darien to stop the training, Darien asked Helmut if he wants to leave the forest, when Helmut heard this, he continued the stance. Darien was surprised that Helmut was lasting longer than he expected, he says that apart from the seed of darkness, Helmut was born with talent, at sunset, Helmut finally gave up, Darien picked him up and cooked some food, Helmut wasn't excited to eat the food until he tasted it. He rushed to finish the food, he couldn't believe how delicious the soup was, while they were eating, Darien stands up, he tells Helmut that he should listen to him while he eats, he said that Helmut wants to get stronger to leave the forest but he is not a demonic beast, he is just a weak human with limits, because of this he has decided to teach Helmut how to use a sword. Darien picked up a wooden sword and told Helmut to watch carefully, he gently moved the sword in a beautiful pattern before he swung it with so much force that Helmut thought that he saw the sword produce lightning, Darien used the wooden sword to smash a boulder into pieces, Helmut was so shocked to see this, he couldn't believe what he had just witnessed. Helmut asked Darien about the lightning he saw, Darien told him that the energy he saw is called Vis, an invisible source of power that only humans can use, he said that the seed of darkness in Helmut's body is also another source of power like Vis, Helmut was very happy to see this power, he told Darien that he wanted to learn how to use it. Darien smacked Helmut's head and told him that his body is not yet prepared to use Vis, he needed to get a proper understanding of a sword first, Darien told him that the way of the sword is hard and it can cause a lot of pain but if he should stick to training, he will definitely become strong, Helmut accepted Darien's offer without a second thought. While training, Darien told Helmut to improve his forms, Helmut shouted at Darien and told him he was doing it correctly, Darien told him to watch his tone and address him respectfully, Helmut immediately changed his tone, he asked Darien what problem was, Darien told Helmut to think of the problem himself. Helmut said he didn't know the problem at all, Darien was upset to hear this, he asked Helmut if he has to explain everything to him, Helmut was angry to hear this, he said Darien must explain to him because he doesn't understand anything. Darien found Helmut to be a strange kid because Helmut had no appreciation for learning yet he learnt most things very fast, Darien found Helmut strange because the seed of darkness which is in his body usually makes people violent and crazy but Helmut is a rational kid who is more logical than most adults and he is quite tenacious and doesn't give up easily, Darien believed that there was something different about Helmut. He decided to offer Helmut training advice, he attacked Helmut on his hand twice, he then asked Helmut if he understood the problem with his form now, Helmut said he didn't understand a thing, Darien told him that if he doesn't do his best to understand the problem, there will be no dinner for him, Helmut was terrified to hear this, he begged Darien to wait while he thought of his issue. When Helmut thought about it, he realized that the amount of pain he experienced when he was hit were different, he found out that Darien hit him in different places and at different speeds, this was odd to Helmut because Darien used the same movement to hit him yet the pain was different. Darien told him that his problem was that he was imitating the form and that isn't enough, he said that Helmut needs to know the difference in his muscles, the tremors in his fingertips, the speed, the flow, and the movement that follows, and more importantly he needs to understand the sword and his mind. Darien told him that only when he has this things under his control will he truly have learnt something, he said that Helmut must devote his heart and soul to each movement he makes in order to truly understand the sword, he told him that all he is doing right now is meaninglessly swinging his arms and this does not make him a swordsman, he is simply a woodcutter. After hearing what Darien said, Helmut continued to practice, after he was done, Helmut went to the river, there he met Alaga, 
Ilago was shocked to see that Helmet had built up muscles from training, when Helmet sat on the ground, he asked Ilaga why Darian said he was indebted to her. Ilaga said that she gave Darian special permission to live in her forest, Helmet was shocked to hear this, he asked Ilaga why she allowed Darian to live in the forest because she doesn't like anyone living close to her. He asked Ilaga if she didn't want to fight Darian, Ilaga was angry to hear this, she told Helmet that she is the owner of the central area of this forest and she will fight anyone who challenges her. Immediately after she says this, she told Helmet that the reason she didn't want to fight Darian was because she was being cautious, she didn't want to be tired from the fight and killed by a snake. Helmet realized that the snake Ilaga was referring to was Naho, a two-headed snake in the southern region of the forest, Helmet asked her that if she was to fight Darian without any interruptions, would she win, Ilaga thought about it and said that she is not sure. This is because demonic beasts like them usually expose their demonic energy so they can instinctively tell if they will win but it is different with humans because they can hide their energy. Helmet was shocked to hear that Ilaga couldn't win, Ilaga corrected Helmet and told him that she simply isn't certain and the reason she allowed Darian to live in her part of the forest is because Naho hates Darian. Helmet asked Ilaga why Naho hates Darian, Ilaga told Helmet that Darian destroyed a disgusting area that Naho built up, Helmet was curious about the disgusting area, Ilaga decided to carry him on her back and show him, she took Helmet to a farm but it was an unusual farm because it was a place where humans are being reared. Helmet was very shocked to see a farm where humans were being reared, in the farm, one of the men carrying a heavy load accidentally dropped it on the ground and for this, the man was beaten. Helmet didn't understand why the man was beaten, he asked Ilaga what the man did wrong, Ilaga said that the man was not working properly and for this he had to be punished, Helmet was surprised to hear this, he sees some girls in the farm and Ilaga why they look different from him. Ilaga told him that those girls are human females and he is a male, she said that Naho prefers the meat of women because they are tender and for that he makes men work while he feeds on the women. Among the humans in the farm, Ilaga points to a bald man and calls him the leader of the humans. This man called Erugo saw the man that was being beaten for his mistake and told the men to forget about the man and prepare the sacrifices for Naho, he looks at one of the girls and removes her from the group of sacrifices, he tells her that he will let her live longer if she satisfies him. Helmet was shocked that such a man was the leader of the humans, Ilaga told him that she doesn't know how the man does it but he is able to find humans that have entered into the forest and if he had found Helmet, he would have also become a slave. Helmet asked Ilaga why she saved him and why she doesn't treat him like a slave, Ilaga said that she saved Helmet so that Naho's human livestock won't increase, Helmet smiled because he knew that Ilaga was lying. After their conversation, Ilaga decided to return back home, when she turned around, she sensed some demonic energy, suddenly, out of nowhere, Naho attacked her, she stood her ground and pushed Naho back, Naho stood up and Helmet was scared because of the demonic energy he felt. Naho asked Ilaga if she was raising Helmet, he told her to eat Helmet while he is still young because that is when males are delicious and if she does not eat him she can give Helmet to him, Ilaga said that he only eats females so Helmet won't taste good, Naho said that he actually does not want to eat Helmet at all but he had one issue with Helmet and that was his smell. When Naho got Helmet sent he asked him how he knew Darian, Ilaga immediately pushed Naho away, Naho told her to calm down and that he was just angry because of what Darian did to his farm some years ago, Ilaga told him that Helmet does not know Darian and he only took Darian's clothes to wear. Naho told Helmet that he is luckily because if he knew Darian, he would have killed him, when Ilaga heard this she released a lot of energy and told Naho that if he tries anything she will rip him into shreds, Naho got scared and told Ilaga that there was no need for such action, he told Ilaga that he has no interest in fighting her, he told her to leave his territory and never come back. After saying this he left, when he left, Helmet fainted from the fear he experienced, when he regained consciousness, Ilaga told him not to set foot in Naho's territory and he should stay near Darien, when Helmet heard this, he was sad, he asked Ilaga if he could become as strong as she and Darien. 
Ilaga told him that Darian is strong, she said that she doesn't know how strong he is but she knows that he is at a level most humans cannot get to even if they struggled their whole lives, she told Helmut that if he wants to get out of this forest, he has to do his best to become stronger. After saying this, she decided to leave because she could feel Darian approaching them, when Darian met Helmut, he told him to follow him home, Helmut was happy to see Darian, he was very happy to know that he had two people to watch over him. In the next scene, we see Helmut crying in pain, in that moment, he remembered the conversation he had with Darian, Darian gave him some herbs to eat every night before he went to bed, Helmut asked him what kind of herbs they were and Darian told him that they are poisonous herbs. Helmut was angry to hear this, he was about to shout at Darian but Darian quickly hit him with his vis, he told Helmut that the herbs are meant to suppress his seed of darkness, Helmut ate poisonous herbs every night before he slept but he did not know it would cause him extreme pain, he couldn't do anything but scream in pain. In the next scene we see Helmut training with a wooden sword, while he was training, Darian approached him, he was surprised that Helmut was enjoying sword training, Helmut said that his vision has become better and his body has become much lighter, he asked Darian if it was thanks to the poisonous herbs that he experienced such changes, Darian told him that it could be thanks to the demonic environment, he asked Helmut if he could no longer feel the pain from the poison. Helmut said that he doesn't feel anything and his body usually feels refreshed in the morning, when Darian heard this, he realized that it had been a few months since Helmut began to consume the herbs, he asked Helmut if he could remember the energy he called Vis. He told Helmut that if one's body is not on the basic level, one cannot learn how to use Vis and that was why he didn't teach Helmut how to use it because his body was not yet on that level but now Helmut was in the right level. Upon seeing this Darian has decided to teach Helmut how to use Vis, Darian picked up his wooden sword and covered it in Vis, when Darian did this, Helmut felt an unknown pressure. Darian told Helmut to melt the energy in the atmosphere into his body, he should control it freely and he should use his sword to incarnate the energy. After saying this, Darian told Helmut to pick up his sword, he told Helmut that he should keep breathing deeply while he is fighting him, Helmut has to do this in order to absorb the energy, after saying this, Darian attacked Helmut with Vis, he told Helmut to be careful of the flow of the energy because if he does not handle it well, his body will break. After Helmut managed to block the attack, Darian closed the gap between them and attacked Helmut, Helmut managed to dodge the attack, he asked Darian if he was actually trying to kill him, after saying this, Helmut did his best to breathe steadily. When he regained his composure, he rushed to attack Darian, Darian easily brushes the attacks, he told Helmut to feel the energy around him and control it, Helmut tried to feel it but he was pushed back. Darian told him not to worry because no one can get it perfectly on their first try, so he and Helmut have to continue fighting like this every day in order for Helmut to achieve it, as time passed, Helmut continued to train hard every day, Slowly he was able to feel the energy in his body and eventually he was able to control this. Four years later, we see Helmut cutting down the trees in the forest with his wooden sword, when he was done with his training, Darian came to meet him, he told Helmut that he has gotten a bit better at using this, Helmut asked Darian to duel with him so he can improve. Darian told him to first show him his vis, when Helmut brought out his vis, Darian was surprised, he couldn't believe that Helmut would be able to manifest Vis at such a young age, he knew Helmut had the seed of darkness but he was very sure that Helmut was quite talented. He was sure that Helmut would change the world but he wasn't certain if it would be a good or evil change, after seeing his Vis, Darian realized that it was time to let Helmut go to the outside world. Thanks for watching, we will make part 2 of this video if we get 200 likes, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and check our channel for more content, see you guys later.